Mo's steaks and shakes. This coffee. This coffee's so good. Look at this keto coffee. Maybe one time we should talk about keto. Mm. What if this turned into an ASMR podcast? You. I wouldn't listen to that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming to the Tyler and Neil Explain Everything podcast. I want to scream really, really loud right now. Oh, I, I just did the, the contrast because the they're too. turning it up a little bit on their phone and yeah, then you're yeah, like, yeah, crank that up. <gasps> There's a, I said. there's a snake in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Neil, I talk too much. What are we talking about today? Uh, we are talking about sneakerheads. Sneakerheads. And a lot of you are like, what's a sneakerhead? Well, that's why you're listening, because we're going to explain it to you. Yep. I'm Tyler. Yep. My name's Neil. We have not done that in a lot of episodes. <laughs> now nah, we have. Doesn't First matter. time, they'll they figure it out. They don't even know who's who anymore. They're like, they sound, they sound, they sound exactly alike. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Hey, you... everybody. My name's Tyler. Hello. My name's Neil. <laughs> this is how I talk. <laughs> I don't like the way I sound. <laughs> I'm very conscientious to not grab a, gravitate towards a southern accent. Oh, my gosh. So I enunciate. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, that's yep. good. Yeah. It's good. Sneakers. Sneakers. Man. So I was at... Um, I was at a conference in Philadelphia, and I wanted to get a pair of shoes for my birthday. You did. So I, I did. And I yep. sent you pictures. Send pics. I did. And I uh, went around to a few different shoe stores. I was in one. It was a uh, it was a Foot Locker, but it's called Foot Locker House of Hoops. Was it a Hush Puppy store? Because they sell shoes hush, at Hush Puppies. Hush, they sell shoes and fried bread. <laughs> <laughs> fried bread. <laughs> you went to Foot Locker. I went to Foot Locker, and, but it was uh, like the, the high-end Foot Locker. It was like House of Hoops, so they got like better oh, choices. Because Foot yeah, Locker's got good stuff. Mm-hmm. House of Hoops has like super sick they shoes. They got boo-boo stuff, too. They got the, the bougie. Uh, bad and bougie. <laughs> I don't know the words. And so no one does, actually. There's, nobody they nobody open, does. You open Open up the uh, CD l- cover. Remember to read the lyrics? Yes. And it's just bad and bougie. Yeah. Dot, <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> it's like, and it's just parentheses. We don't even know. Nobody Close knows. Close parentheses. Um, Migo said that. And so I walk in and I'm looking at the shoes. And this guy's like, hey, man, can I help you? I was like, yeah. I was like, I was looking. I was like, I like these, you know, Jordan 1, New York to Paris. And I was like, I just got them. But, um, and I was, look, I was like looking for something like those because I really like the ones and the way they fit and the way they feel. Oh, the way they fit. Feet. fit. And I was looking for some shoes, and he goes, he looked at me, he goes, you sneakerhead? And I go, I mean, I just started getting into shoes, and I really like them, so mm-hmm. I don't, like, because mm-hmm. sneakerhead, it's like, it's like, it's like Jimmy Buffett parrot heads. It is. But yes, it's like. A lot he, less margarita. I'm afraid, though, <laughs> yes. <it's, laughs> well, you don't know. I don't hang no, out with a lot no of sneakerheads. No they could be anything. They, when you're in Florida, and you're like, I want some kind of, kind of Florida, of but kind of mainstream. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how margaritas work. It's definitely work. a culture. I used to, yeah. I work, I served at Chili's, so I those big margaritas with the big old glass. People stole those glasses all Where the time. Where did they time. put those that you didn't see when they were they taking They didn't care. They just walk out. Hmm. Like, you can barely catch them when they walk out on the ticket. You definitely stop them for a <laughs> margarita. Also, they know their, they know their audience, because like, I was a 22-year-old kid in college. Mm-hmm. I don't care. You could take the table. I'm, yeah. It makes it easy for me to sweep. Mm-hmm. I don't care. And so it's, like, it. so it's like a mom and pop. They're like, this is ours. We care about this business. Everywhere else is like, what do I care? I'm. Jimmy this is care. a temporary job. <laughs> Nobody cares about that anymore. No. And so, um, what are we talking about? <laughs> Sneakers. <laughs> Sneakerheads. So it's like a club that I was. I'm always afraid when somebody's like, because I do like shoes. I genuinely enjoy. It's like the only. Like I don't do anything else. I don't watch a lot of TV shows. I don't, I don't do, do anything. Else. I work and this I don't is buy all anything. I know the only things I buy that I could see as like selfish are like I probably go to Blaze Pizza more than I should. Um, and what's the right amount though? I think you're, three you're, times you're a day at, is great. Right. Hmm. If they had a breakfast pizza, three times a day would be oh what I would my shoot for. Gosh. I had. I would have a breakfast pizza in Philly. They had a cauliflower crust breakfast pizza. It was incredible. How did? You, why did you ever come back here? I just got back. I was supposed to be back six weeks ago. <laughs> I wrote you every day for a year. Three sixty-five letters, and uh, it was good. So. I um I like I like to eat occasionally, so I'll eat, like, I'll eat like go something shoes. blaze pizza and I like shoes. It's the only thing that Amanda can be like, Will you spend money on this? And I'm like, Yes, Amanda, I it's do. It's true. But it's always like random like if I find it's like uh so for my YouTube TV, you guys pay me on Cash App. Every now and then I cash out y'all stuff. That's right. And I buy shoes with it. And oh, so but cool. I always buy on discount. So I'm usually hitting like the outlet. So I don't get relevant shoes very often so it's like like the jordan three tinkers just came out the the gray and the black ones yep they look incredible They're beautiful i'm not gonna bounce out 200 bucks for them Mm-mm. i'm just not so like I, I you know i was going to those shoe stores and i was looking around and i went and bought a pair 
of generic sneaker. Like it's, I know it, like most sneakers will make fun of it because it's like they were cool. Sketcher like, shape ups. What were they? They were Heelys. Oh, got a brand new pair of Heelys <laughs> so I can no Heelys. skate around town with other cool cats. And this is going goes out to all you cool cats out there when you're Heelys. I, I was reading. We got a smooth tune. For you. I'm not gonna stop. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, last night it was about ten thirty. I was reading. On my iPad. Liar. You were watching the Netflix. I was not. With your dad on his DVDs. And uh, I can't remember where to put the DVDs on the iPad. (laughs) And my wife comes up and she goes, what are you doing? You should stop right now. I was like, I'm going to read for a little while. And she left the room and came back. And I was on the sneakers app. And she goes, what do you do? What is that? She goes, Neil, you, it's, it's too much. You have too many. You have to stop. I said, well, no, look what, look at these drops that are coming. And yeah, she, she, she so, turned around and walked away. Okay, so fun question. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's fun. I don't know. It's kind of arrogant to say it's a fun question. It's my question. How dare you? Okay, my question. Mm-hmm. Um, which of the apps are you on? Okay, I'm going to give three that mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. you said sneakers app, so I, I want to guess you're I on did. the Nike sneakers app. I did. Which is called, but that could also be a general term. So the three most shoe apps I go to are the sneakers, and then it's like S N K S R S. Is there R in there? There's no vowels. There's no vowels. They cut the vowels, save money and save time. And so, and so it's either that. Stock X mm-hmm. or Goat. I think those are the three that I use the most. Um, which I, one were you? I on? was actually I was toggling back and forth between sneakers and Stock X. Okay. Do you ever get on Goat? Yeah, I have. I okay. don't uh, not as often, but I probably should. See, it's Goat's my go-to. Dangerous. Yeah. Because because the... with Goat the sneakers app, that's where like Nike when they release it, they're like you can get like a reminder to like go in and buy it. And and I, I was just I going to look at a reminder. Yeah, I'm like I'm good. <laughs> I'm, please stop telling me they're there. I don't want to think about them anymore. Um, and so, but with StockX and Goat, you can buy. It's like it's like eBay for nice shoes. It is. And so you can go in, you can buy them new, you yeah, can buy them yeah. used. And so like uh, like the Travis Scott. Travis Scott's a rapper. He did a collab with Nike, and he did this really awesome. Um, we'll show you on the podcast. Can you see this? I'm kidding. Yeah, look here. Uh, look on the video here. YouTube, they're like, Laya, because they can see us. Um, they have this really sweet Jordan 1s they did. They're like brown. They got a backwards check mark, brown and white. And when they came out, I mean, they were out for like a second. Like if you go in immediately, gone, try to buy them, you're probably gone, not going to get it. Gone. So you can buy them for like $200. Right. Immediately, we're reselling for like 1200 bucks. And so- You like, can't get them. You can't get them. No. And it's like, I think of- I think shoes right now are hitting a high point of culture, resale, like right, where they kind of right. hit. And you think back, like th- we go through phases of this as a culture of what is popular, like Beanie Babies for a while. Right. You, that was the thing. You yeah. find your Beanie Babies, you mm-hmm. go and you can sell them, you can trade them, whatever. Where are they now? They're at yard sales. My yeah, daughter yeah. buys them for a quarter apiece, wow. and she rips the tag she, off like she doesn't even care, she Neil. She handled the market fine on this. I, yeah. <laughs> I was 15. I remember when I was 14, 13 Smart. or 14, I was going around. There was like two stores in Benton that sold them. We'd go in there every day. I was like, did you get a new one? Get a Valentine's Day bear? I was buying them because, and I'm not kidding, I bought them, and I stored them in my room, kept them clean because I was going to hold them for two or three years and resell them yeah. to buy a car. The market dropped no. after like a year. And they were worth nothing. I think I, I gave them all to my mom in a bucket for 50 bucks. Man. And it's like I spent so much time and effort. She um, played the market right as well. She did. Baseball cards. That was another yeah, thing. You yeah. sell, you trade. Garbage pail kids. Yes. Yeah, all of it. Comic books have gone up and down on this. Nintendo, old school games, all this Yeah, that's thing. in now too. Right. And so like comic books are getting in because mm-hmm. the movies are actually like really right. good as right. opposed to like 10 years ago where it was like that one Hulk movie. Mm. It wasn't like, actually Which 10 years one? ago was Iron Man, but it's like 15 years ago. Yeah. And so, where did all this start? The where, shoes. Where did this sneaker head culture start? Well, I mean, I think it's always been a thing, but I think that it's getting more and more mainstream because, like with everything that kind of comes around, technology makes it accessible. Absolutely. So, with baseball cards, when I was into that, I would go and I would go to M and D's card shop in Benton, and it was accessible. If they would have had, I don't buy a Beckett, yeah. and I would go through and check them. Now, if I was going out and I was, you know. Out about town, a man about town. Hey, yeah, <laughs> Jackie Moon, man about town. <laughs> and I was going around. Um, if they had had an app then for baseball Who cards, knows? oh my goodness, oh, yeah. I would have been marking every. Right. I would have spent literal hundreds of hours just marking that I have them in the app to sell them or yeah. share them or whatever. Because it's like it's you can get so much more in depth now. And I think shoes are hitting now because I I personally think that it's hitting because one, it's 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 at a high point with regards to. Um, celebrity culture 
So it's it's an affordable vice. So like celebrities like, oh, I got Rolexes, rappers, right. NBA players. Yeah. So like Bentley's. I got a Rolex. Yeah. I can't go buy a Rolex or nope. a Bentley. No. Nope. I can afford a hundred dollar pair of shoes every right. now and then. You know what I mean? Like I can go out and do that and still do something that I enjoy that connects me with culture. I don't know, Neil. I'm not got what, a great answer. That's well, mine. What's your well, answer? Well, how how often is every once in a while that I buy I shoes? <laughs> how dare you, Amanda? What, now here's this the, is not the marriage podcast. The, no, we don't have to talk sorry. about you, my problems. We'll talk about that later. No, I do the outlets and so I live like five minutes from a Nike outlet store. And so what is that I by do design. Yes, that's okay. I was like, Amanda, we're gonna land here or mm-hmm. he's in mass pro shops, we can have outlets. We're gonna live here in the restrooms at the outlet. And I can stop by here about two times a week mm-hmm. just to see if they got anything. And so I'll go through there and most of the shoes I have, I've bought there for like thirty five dollars or less. And so in my head I right. think this is less than the family going to eat at tamales. Like it's cheap. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll just talk Amanda out of eating out <laughs> one time a week and that can afford me this pair of shoes. In my brain, this makes sense, Neil. Because you don't walk around and when somebody is getting ready to eat or put fuel in their car, you're like, are you fueling your car again, Tyler? Yeah. Uh, How dare you? Yeah, that's Same a great thing. analogy. Thank you, Neil. You're welcome. And so, but then every now and then, so like I'm wearing a pair right now. Uh, I've got a pair of shoes. For the YouTubers, I'll show you. So I've got a pair. This is oh, gross. I just took does. my shoe off. Um, this is... Uh, Jordan One, I think they're called Defiant. Um, they got like a little, a little red thing, and they got the white check there. So I have been gandering these since they dropped. I think about a month or two ago, mm. and I love them. But I'm not gonna go order. I've never bought a pair of shoes on StockX. I've never bought a pair of shoes on Goat. I've never bought a shoes. But you sneakers look at, at them. I look at them, so right. I know what's up. And that way, I know in a month or two if they pop up at the outlet store. I can maybe look at purchasing them, and I'm kind of know. Is this more? Th- there seem to be pockets of people of the population that uh, are into this. My, so I wonder: is this directly connected to rapper culture? Is it more connected to NBA? Which I think those two are connected. I, I think, I think you're they're right. like Drake sitting right. sidelines at Toronto. That's right. that means something. Right. Travis Scott, he loves Houston Rocks from Houston. Like talks about them in his songs. Yeah. Like they mention them in songs all the time. Uh, Chance just came out with a new album. He says. I made the three more famous than Steph. Like, that's what they, they watch it, so they incorporate it because they're thinking about right. it. And the NBA players love it. They play it. They promote right. it. Like, you know, LeBron's on his Instagram story all the time. Jeez, just a kid from Akron like you. Uh-huh. You're both kids from Akron. We are. So, I don't know. What do you think? Why do you think it's so... Well, it's definitely not in country music. You're not seeing this at the CMAs. However... Uh, I don't know. There's uh, coll- there, are, there are some, yeah. but I don't know that I would say that they're... First of all, I'm not a country music guy, but I think there are definitely well, certain you know pockets me. of the of pop culture that are more into this than others. But the accessibility of this, I think, is one thing. And then there is a... I don't know if I call it a subculture, but... The, and actually, I don't... I don't really like this group uh, uh, of being associated with it, but it's uh, it's preachers, preachers and sneakers, preachers and sneakers. Uh, I think it's hilarious. I uh, I approve of the entire thing. It's I think so it's funny. so funny. It went through a if, so. If you're not familiar with preachers and sneakers, it's uh, uh, an Instagram uh, account that uh, pr- you know blew up pretty pretty quickly. And they would basically yeah, uh, pretty quickly. It when when I saw it, it was at it was and I'm gonna say like oh it was there first. I someone showed it to me. I didn't just like pop up on it and be like oh, I found it naturally in right. natural car, like right. wandering through the desert and found a bear. I um that, that was a weird. <laughs> term. Yeah. Um, the, someone sent it to me, but it was early. It was like seven thousand, and as soon as you see it, because for those of you that might not be in the Christian culture, a lot of like high profile. Um, communicators, communicators, right. uh, people that are preachers that speak on stage. They have really good Instagram accounts. They're they're connecting. They're right. sharing with culture. Well, they're wearing all this really cool stuff, and I noticed some of it. A lot of people might right. not know, like, oh, those shoes. When I look at a pair of shoes, I'm like, those are off whites. Those are twelve hundred dollars right. shoes in your and photo. As soon as you see it, you recognize them, but you also know they get it. Yes, they and it's know. No different than if somebody's driving a certain car or yeah. somebody's listening to a certain kind of music. There's a commonality that yep. now, so you instantly know. Yes. Now this account kind of roasts them for yeah. how much they are, how much their resale value yeah. is. It's not necessarily real. What they maybe bought it for, and right. and here's the thing: like this started. To, uh, <laughs> really great discussion it's it um so he'll post a photo of them and it's usually from their instagram it's not hard to find yes and uh in the or it's from like another account or something they'll toss it up and it's them on stage he tries to get them on stage preaching um and it's got you know a jacket or he's got apparel now um a jacket you know a pair of pants a belt or like shoes shoes is the main ones preachers and sneakers and then he'll 
he will uh, – sorry, I just thought of something we could side. talk about later. Um, and then a side-by-side side of a screenshot of what it, that is worth on right. StockX. Right. And so a lot of people – you know, Man. it's stuff that I've thought that people have thought, but you don't uh, like publicly like put out right, there like, right, wow, right. can you believe so-and-so is wearing a yep. $1,500 pair of shoes? Right. And here's the thing. It started, I think it's, I know I had a ton of great conversations with oh, yeah. people in ministry or friends about this. Is it okay? And you know, like people are like, some people are really, really opinionated that, yep. no, no you're you bad. need to wear Wranglers. Yeah, you, you can't. But then wear- again. Are Wranglers too expensive? Right. They're fifty yeah. bucks. Yeah. Who knows what? What's what? And that's the thing I would always ask. They'll be like, <laughs> "No, this pair of shoes or this <laughs> pair of pants is okay. That's fifty dollars. You can go to Goodwill, save a dollar, get fifty nine dollars charity. It, like it, you could do that. And then a lot of these pastors got them for free, right. so they're not spending money. It was a gift. But then the perception, there's a ton of great right. conversation. Yes. And so I love. I love that, being able to talk about it. Yes, right. I think it's a great. Right. Now I don't like anybody being negative or no. like in, like hard negative. If you're going to come in and be oh, accusatory yeah. right. or tell people. That was my main thing. And like, I was kind of like, I see where it can influence people. I can see where it can. Oh, hey, there's the mic. I found it. Um, <laughs> when I'm doing my head sideways, like, hey, Neil, you've been probably hey. asking me to do this. You're like, move over to your mic, you dummy. Um, and so, my thing that I always come back to is I'm not going to tell them what to do. Right. They, I just, they need to understand. The perception of it, whether right, positive right, or negative. Right. Oh, you're in tune with culture. Yep. Great. That's going to get them people in the room with people that influence right. and have culture. Also, some people are going to look at it like, wow, showboat. You made sure those shoes were in that right, Instagram pic. Right. And so it's like. There's both sides of you, it. You have to understand and make your choice. But me, I'm not going to say he shouldn't do that. Right. Do what you want. So how many people have walked up to you if they see you wearing a good pair of shoes <laughs> and they say, wow, preachers and sneakers? How many times? <laughs> I've heard it a few. Yes. I, I probably don't hear as much because I'm a dean of a college and I'm not. Yeah, there's you're a pastor, so you probably hear it all right. the time. Cause well, you can. And here's the thing is uh, um, I understand that that is a cultural thing right now, that people will make that joke. Mm-hmm. But I also do have the incredible opportunity to tell them I, I am shopping at the outlet mall. <laughs> I promise you I'm not showing up on any of that. Yeah. You know, like, it's just not yeah. a real thing. And anything, any shoes that I have that are very, very high dollar, um, somebody either gave me, or I I did buy one pair that were, they were not crazy expensive, but they were expensive Talk about your NASA ones? Yeah. Can we some, say, we're just some, talk. This is our podcast. We got we some, say, some Paul George um, NASA Apollo shoes. 11 50 standard. And no, they, they look dope. Okay, so here's the thing. They're Paul George, which are, you said, they are the number one worn NBA shoe. NBA shoe by NBA players. They are very comfortable. I don't uh, have a pair. They are, uh, they had multiple versions of it. And, and we could talk about the colorways and all the, the seasons of shoes and mm-hmm. all this sort of thing. But there was one that was white and it had a gold Nike logo. And I, I was like, those are great. I just can't do that. It was way too flashy, and oh, I really? wasn't going to go that direction. Well, if a flash is on, yours get flashy. <laughs> well, <laughs> did you yes. know that photo yeah, we, we got, our, we our have... wives put up of us? Oh gosh! And your shoes look yeah. like you're landing a plane yeah. next to the photo. Uh, 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 it's a guy, awesome. A guy came up and took a, a picture of us together, and oh, he, he turned the flash it. on. He turned. He probably took twenty pictures. He got a leg work. He was doing lunges. He we was like in it. We also did see him in the uh, in the Hobson theater. And we did photo. not talk to him. Uh, he was asleep. That's why we didn't talk to him. He slept the entire movie. That's great. But yes, the the shoes lit up. Um, but it's because I'm an absolute, do I like sneakers? Yes. But the Apollo 11 thing is super, I just, I'm a NASA guy. And so, you know, it's, they're, they're personal to a degree, but are they expensive? Yes. Okay. So you also have new shoes that are coming out constantly because you have, uh, you have LeBron, you have Kyrie's, you have KD's, you have Jordan's, you have all these different ones. And they don't just come out with one version of this, like the LeBron soldiers, how yeah. many other off, um, versions of that. Oh my did, gosh! I mean, they did all the colorways, every the, version of like it. Like they have, like uh, Kyrie. I think Kyrie does the best with these. He's got uh, friends. He's got a pair of shoes that are friends, like the TV show version. Really? Has a tag that says friends, and they're like black with the little zigzags. That's amazing. Looks like Central Park. Um, he's got. Um, he did. He just did a SpongeBob one. So he had like yes. five different pairs of like shoes come out, and they're out. all different yep. the colors based on SpongeBob Sally, characters. Is it the squirrel. What's the? Yeah, they're, they're yeah, all there. Yeah. They're all. And they sold out on the sneakers app yep. immediately. Yep. And then they're reselling immediately right. on the right. other apps. Right. So it's just. I think that. The, with them being so creative, it's not just like, oh, okay, that's the one pair Jordan wore in 85. Back right. then when they came out, those were a huge that deal. Was it. it was just one pair there of shoes. There was only one. It was a big deal when he right. wore those, his signature shoes, because they were black, and you were supposed to wear white shoes. 
unheard of. Yes, it was like, and unheard he got of. fined. I think like every game, and so like that's what this actually the Jordan ones I'm wearing. This the Defiant. They have all these different colors, and so Defiant, um, Defiant. but they've come out with that, uh, and it's just there's so many different versions and limited editions, and I think that's what really starts drawing people in because they're like. It's like collecting baseball cards. Right. It's like collecting that Valentine's yep. uh, Beanie Baby. It's like collecting these things, like stamp collecting. It's that, but well, you get to have friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, kidding. So stamps it's are not cool. just Nike. You've got Yeezys. Oh, my goodness. You have, um, mm-hmm. and this is the, the funny one. We'll say this one, and then we'll move on. Um, Kawhi Leonard signed <laughs> New ba- with New Balance. Poor man, get paid. And it just, people are like, what? That is the classic white guy, dad, tennis shoe of choice. It may be even that. Yeah. Upper middle suburbia. And it doesn't make any sense. And they came out with some, they look pretty good. Mm-hmm. Am I going to wear them? No. Probably not. <laughs> I saw a meme said, I don't care how many championships this man win, I ain't wearing no New Balances. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's definitely different versions. And I think there are some that are behind. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't want to talk about. I have a preference. Puma's trying to catch up. They, Puma's they really are, trying to catch up. Yeah, BK it's, Knights are coming back around. Yep. Not nah, really, LA Lights. Not really. <laughs> Heelys. Uh, now the main two are Nike and Adidas. Right. They're your two big players, and right. Nike's really almost in a league of its own. And they weren't because, because they have Jordan Brand, which Jordans yeah, are Nikes, yeah, yeah. but it, they call it Jordan Brand. It's almost separate, but. Um, they weren't were, two years ago. Adidas was eating their lunch. Really? Yes. Why? As is that? far as far as um, as far as the uh, culture, like sneakerheads, yes, because right. it was Yeezys. Yes, it was all about because right. they partnered with Kanye, rap music, partnering in. Right. There you go. That's right. where that culture influenced. And so Yeezy, explain to them what Yeezy is. They, they may not know what that is. Yeezy. So um, the ones that you've probably seen, if you've seen Yeezys, are Yeezy Boosts. They're yeah, more. They look like Thanos's chin. Yes, the back does. That it's very big and rubbery. Rachel Spinks, that was for you. That was solid. That was, that was good. And she definitely is a listener. Hey, Rachel's nice to see hey, you. Hey, Rachel. Um, <laughs> I hope somebody sends this to her. And so uh, the Yeezys that you've probably seen the most, they've been around for a few years, Yeezy 350 Boost. Um, so they're super, They were. I mean, they really just took off. And they were hiring people. I'm paying $200 for a pair of shoes. A pair of Yeezys now resale for, I mean, <laughs> they they resell resale of a new pair of Yeezys is like four hundred fifty bucks. Right. And they're two hundred dollars shoes. Yeah, and um, those are Yeezy three fifties. Now they have Yeezy seven hundreds, um, which are I don't know. They look like a like a swimming pool on a Nintendo sixty four game. I don't know. That was a yeah. weird analogy, no, but they look they look a little weird. They look like. They look like a little kid's art project almost whenever they have the colors. And so yeah. that's that, the easy 350 is the one you need to know. That's the one that really took off. That was when I was walking around Philadelphia and I went to like three different shoe stores like that five different one, times. That was that's one. the one I got. I got and I didn't buy. You're like, wow, Tyler, $450. I saw that one, picked it up. Oh. I said, how much is this? Yeah. They said, nope. and it was used 450 bucks. I said, Hard pass, and I go and there's germs in those shoes. Oh, I don't care about germs. I just don't have four hundred fifty dollars to spend on that. I was like, Amanda's like, your birthday is great, but it's not that important. Man's got to know his limitations. My birthday is every. It's the middle of June, so it's almost always within one day of Father's Day. So it's like I should be oh, able to. Yeah. It's like a kid's birthday on Christmas. Mm-hmm. I should be able to combine those yeah, and get a really good present. Nope. Usually they just forget, and nobody cares about that anymore. They don't Man, give me any presents. So, sad. but I did save it because I knew I was going to Philly later, and so I was like, I'm gonna wait. Went around to those three. Like shoe stores, looked at everything, took photos, trying to decide, <laughs> looked at my price range, you made, you and I wanted because I don't have any Yeezys. I'm mainly Nike. You're mainly, I'm Nike. Nike, and so that's the, what it's I have. The fit and the feet. Uh, I've, yeah. I've had Adidas, and mm-hmm. they don't. They either fall apart on me. Okay, uh, and I'm not. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm hard on shoes. I don't know what it is. We're not sponsored by Adidas. No. uh, um, (laughs) But uh, Adidas, for some reason, have, I've used them for running shoes. I've used them for a few other things, and it just doesn't really well. But I've had New Balance. I've had New Balance. I've had Puma. I've had uh, Converse. Um, I really was into Converse for a while. Like, I loved Converse shoes. They they don't have this. They don't. It's the fit and the feel. Of cotton. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I did ended up buying, like, I was in there, and I was like, I really like these. And they were like, oh, no, sorry, I don't have them. Those are, they were used that much. I was like, I can't do that much. I was like, do you have any more? They're like, we got a pair we just got in there in the back. And I got them, like, they, I think I got them, and this is, this, it was the most expensive pair of shoes I think I've ever bought. Uh, they were like 200 bucks. Used tennis shoes. They look brand new. They were like, they're used. The kid looked like he wore them on carpet one time and brought them back. Some, wow. It was like a 14-year-old with big feet. And I was like, sick. I'll take I'll it. I'll take them. And so that was my birthday slash Father's Day go. present. But you were talking with Wesley the other day about how you can buy knockoffs yeah. at, and, what is it, Wish? 
Uh, Wish, yeah, they sell yeah. them. You can buy them for like thirty bucks from China. And now they may not be. You, they, they well, they're they're probably it's not hit or miss right. on if they look. <laughs> so I've seen people that have a pair and they look exactly like mine, and I'm so aggravated because I would wear a pair of fake Yeezys right. so fast. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I mean, I care, but I don't care enough not to pay. Much. Ten times they're the still amount. in that same thirty dollars price range. As I the like ones that you're thirty dollars, <laughs> and so um, <laughs> I can buy it with the tax from the other one. Hmm. Um, but then also, I've met people that have bought from the exact same place late six months later, and they right. look like they were right. made by like they're a Tonka toy, mm. like they were made on a playground. Wow. So um, a couple of Legos, yeah. And so it's hit or miss when you do that, but you get a good chance of saving a lot of money on a pair of stuff that looks like something else. So uh, I, I like them, but. It's, that's I think I've only got like two pairs of Adidas, um, but most of my shoes are are, are Nike. I use mine as yard. Uh, like if I'm going to mow the yard now, I have a pair, and they were. But I wore them out yeah. running. I just I run so much. You're such naturally. a. You're known for that. The mileage that I have. Thank you for joining us for Tyler Neal explain everything today. We're talking about <laughs> running and how oh Neil never stops running. Is the Forrest yeah. Gump, but with a billion. I had a IQ. guy who worked at a funeral home, and he told me years ago. I was maybe two years after college, and he said, son, let me tell you something about jogging. I'm going to give you the secret to life. You ready for it? I was mm-hmm. like, yes, sir, tell me. I, don't, I have no idea what, you know, he's embalming a body oh, while gross. we're talking. And I don't goes, want to see pictures. God gave you a certain number of bends in each of your knees. Why are you going to go wasting those on jogging? After your knee's done with all the bends, you're not going to get any more. Can't get that back. Don't waste it on jogging. I was like, you are incredible. Be yeah. my dad. He, he gave no, you an he out from Yeah, running. he did. He did. Uh, one of the biggest names right now in the sneaker culture would be Zion Williamson. Oh, and yeah. It, it is because just... of, there was a, there's a huge debacle that happened. Uh, Zion Williamson played for Duke. Duke. Playing against he, North Carolina. Yes. Sold out arena. This is the biggest game, at least outside, in that Duke-UNC rivalry, that when they play at Duke, it is it's bigger than any other game it's of the year. And in that game that was just touted that they were gonna just and yeah. in the first few minutes, yeah. he has a blowout in his shoes yeah. and his foot literally now he's a big guy. He's yeah. bigger than than LeBron. Yeah. He is heavier he's, than LeBron. In college, if he was in the NBA, he would have been the second heaviest NBA player. Yeah, behind just, a seven foot massive like five guys. Boban, I think, was it's only just one muscle. Time. I mean, he's a, he is a huge. Yeah, it's a tank, bro. So uh, he jumps tank. up and he he does a pivot. Does a uh, and and basically his foot comes right out of the front of his shoe. Not like it, busted it, it, through right. the shoe. It was in. I mean, it was huge. It oh. broke the. It broke Twitter for a minute. So not only did it break Twitter, it almost broke Nike because oh, their yeah. stocks dropped immediately. Yep. There was more. So. They actually flew in high-level executives into Duke to sit down with Zion Williamson and go over, hey, here's what we're going to do, here's how we're going to fix it, whatever, blah, blah, he was blah. Using, and they were Paul George's. Oh, yeah. Which is what most NBA players and, wear. And it was not good. No. So, well, he switched to Kyrie's after that for the rest of the season. Yeah. He kept Nike, switched to Kyrie. Which was, was smart. And yeah. um, so but, now he, you know, he gets drafted in the NBA, yep. and he goes to the Pelicans, and now he just signed... With Jordan Brand, which is huge, which is a big deal, and he, you know, he was offered more money with uh-huh. Puma, Puma, and I think one other offered him more money, uh, but he went with Jordan because he grew up loving Jordan, right? He, it, so mean, it's an eighty million dollar contract. For think about seven that. Seven years, uh, yes, and it's also it, it, this. He will make more through this than he will through playing through in the, the NBA. NBA. But that's the same thing that happened with a lot of these other Le- guys. I mean, LeBron, because your rookie contract can't be too big, nope. and so you come in and you have that type of clout, and you can sell shoes. Yeah. Boom, and also they're going to catch you young. Steph Curry started right. Nike, wore Nike his whole yep. life, and then but nothing. then Nike botched his pitch, Man. had Kevin Durant's name still on the PowerPoint. Can you believe and they that? Mit- and they called him uh, Stephen. Stephen Curry. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, instead yeah, of Steph. Not good. It doesn't go well. Yeah. So now he's with Under Armour. He's with Under Armour, and he actually has stock in the company. So, I mean, he... Like he went in and then just say, oh, pay me this much. He's like, give me yep. this percent. Yeah. And so his... Actually, if Under Armour keeps doing well... It'll blow up, which no. I don't wear a lot of Under Armour, and I like Steph. Yeah, okay. I want to get a pair of Steph Curry's. Is I don't really like the other ones; Chef, they're too boxy. Chef Curry's, Chef Curry with a shad boy. Um, I want to get one of the like more recent ones, like past. Like I really like them when he started collaborating with them on the design the past year or so. Yeah. I really like those, but I just haven't got them yet. I've had three pair of Under Armour shoes. Two of them have broken. No, oh, gross. Within a soon. You are uh, really bashing other companies besides Nike. No, are, I'm you just you that, uh, Zion, uh, um, are you sponsored? Zion? Are you? You rip off your uh, mask and you're Zion Williamson. But I 
still have I still have my uh, KD name tag on. That's good. Uh, That's good. So <laughs> Zion Williamson became the the face of the Jordan brand, and they think that he will be the and he's really the the future of the NBA. Of, if of, he if he comes through, if, like if they he think. does, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got the attention right now. People right love now he him. And he's a likable kid. He loves the game. Right. I think he could be great. So is there a with the sneakers and how often they come out and all that sort of thing? You know, you've got you got music comes out at a certain time of the week. You got movies come out at a certain time of the week. Trailers come out a certain day of the week. All that sort of thing. Do sneakers have a lifespan in the in a year's time span? New ones come out before the NBA season in the uh, or is this just where they're constantly slowly leaking them out? They because look okay, LeBron has a new shoe that comes yep. out. What are we on the 16s or 17s? Uh, I think he's this is 17. Will be okay, this year, so this is the 17. I think he's in year 16 or 17. He graduated 03, started NBA in 03. And so, yeah, it has to be 17, I would think. Okay. So um, if he's on the 17s, what he'll do is he, they'll release one. Mm-hmm. And then not long after that, they will come out with colorways or yep. new versions, new yep. color combinations mm-hmm. and other extra designs. And those are very limited runs. Yep. And he'll do them all through like the whole year. The whole year. He just came out. out with two or three of them. And yep. when he was hurt in the NBA, he was still had shoes that were coming out. People bought, bought them. A lot of times what the NBA players will do if they're winning on winning teams, so like Steph or KD, um, they're in the playoffs every year, uh, especially when they were at the Warriors. And so LeBron wasn't this year, but he is almost every other year. LeBron does the same thing. And so what they do is they usually release release their next year's shoes during the playoffs because playoffs get more attention. Right. It's everybody's that, watching, and that's the thing, man. These these contracts play into where they go. So, like Nike had like a three hundred plus million dollar deal with KD. They want his shoes on TV during right. the playoffs, yeah. into the finals. Mm-hmm. Do one get into the finals every year. Yep. So, you think that had any? Yeah. Do you think Nike oh, yeah. maybe wanted him to go to Golden State? Because as Absolutely. soon as he goes to Golden State, they know my guy's going to be in the finals every year. Right. We get to sell more shoes. He's more on TV. KD went up. His shoes used to be eighty dollars. And then I was like four or five years ago, he came out and they raised the price of his shoes from like from well, eighty to like one twenty or one thirty. And he said, "It's because I'm not an eighty dollar player." Right. And his shoes are, by the way, KD tens, one of my favorite pairs of shoes to wear because really? they the way they fit my feet. I absolutely love the KD tens. Well, okay, think about Westbrook, small market team. Yep. Big name player, small market with now Jordan he brand. To, right now he goes to Houston. Better, bigger knows? market. Right, much bigger market. Yep, yes. Nike's probably super pumped because yeah. Westbrook shoes aren't selling as well. Like, he is Jordan's main Jordan brand guy, besides now Zion, yeah. but he's their main guy. Not, and not so, do well. and he's just, he comes out with some, I like his shoes, but they're not, like the Jordans that are like mm, Jordan 20s and down, now we're in like Jordan 30 something, and he's their key player. So he wears them and it's his style. Why not? Mm. 2.0. They don't sell as well as his shoes that have been around for 25 years. That's crazy. It's wild that those shoes still sell that and they just do different color. I mean, that's the thing. They These Jordan 1s just came out, but Jordan 1 came out in 85 or 86 or whatever. And so it's like they can just oh, change wow. the colorway and make it look like a brand new shoe. Or they can do a collab with an artist and make off-whites and they can raise the price to $1,500. And because it's an artist collab, like I think it's genius the way they're doing these shoes is. now, well, and it's just creating this culture. So think about how smart this is. You and I, we, we talk back and forth about this. Nike just started something called the Nike Adventure Club. Yes, for kids. You sent me the link. A subscription it's for incredible. your first footwear subscription for your kids. So what this is is a brand new platform that is aimed towards children. And here's the biggest reason why we have to buy new shoes in my house. My kids grow out of them. Yes. It's so fast. You're like, I don't want to spend $100 on a pair of shoes. They're going to be right. out of in a month and a yep. half. They're not going to beat them up before no. they grow out of them. So what they've done is it's a subscription service, and parents can order out of the catalog over 100 different sneaker styles, and they have sizes. You can't you can't go all the way up to it. It would be hilarious if we could actually order shoes. For those. us? <laughs> they have different. So you can go, you, you can basically get a pair every month, every two months, or you can go down to four pairs a year. These are the different subscription models. And the pricing is at 50 US dollars, 30 US dollars, and 20 respectively. So you basically, you get brackets of what you can, but your kids are always getting new shoes. And yeah. this is going into, it's this... They're indoctrinating these kids into it's, it early on. It's what everybody's doing in every market. Right. They're trying to get subscriptions. Might as well they know here. that if we sell it to you once, we get your money up front. If we make you subscribe monthly, we get money forever. Mm. Adobe, Adobe did this with all of their products. Oh, yeah. You can't buy Premiere now. You used to, you could pay, what, 1000 bucks and you get Premiere forever? Now, nope, I pay $30 right. forever. 
as long as I'm using it. Right. That's why I'm surprised Apple. I mean, their their products, most of them, good ones are free. But then Final Cut Pro is still three hundred bucks. Yeah. I can have forever. I don't have to pay monthly. That's why I don't want to learn Premiere. Yeah. I don't want to have to do that. And then you've got um, media. You're watching movies. They try to do that movie club where you can go to tickets. It right. failed, but it was oh you know everything's gosh. going to subscription based because they get your money forever. Now the way they talk about it is hilarious. This is the way that Nike said it. They said this removes uh, a point of friction for parents always having to buy new shoes for their oh, kids. How nice of them. How sweet of you. How precious. Yeah. My so. Precious. Um, I absolutely, I, I could, and I subscribe to so many different feeds. I look yeah. at this stuff constantly. Ble- uh, Bleach Report, BR underscore kicks is a good one. Yep. Um, there's a ton of really good shit ones. Any, uh, so you you agree that if, if you guys want to get into the this whole culture, the three apps that they need to look at. Sneakers, there's Nike, so that'll be like new releases and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can see them. Tell I mean, them you can way, always tell them the way can... that works. Uh, a new shoe drops. It, it has a, a date on it, mm-hmm. and what do they do? The date and time of when it drops, and you can actually say notify me, so it'll tell you, hey, 10 minutes till they drop. Then you have to go in the app, and you have to buy it quick. Like, right. you have to buy them soon, and like 10 minutes later, they're on these other apps we're about right. to tell you about for sale. Right. Um, usually higher, and oh, then sometimes God. if the shoe doesn't take... It's like collecting. You collect it, and sometimes it takes right. off. Sometimes, if sometimes it's it at the outlet store, and I can mm-hmm. buy it for half price. Yeah. You know, People will make a really good living off of buying 50 of a shoe. It's like a stock market. Oh, they do it. And you buy it and resell it. Yep. I worked at... Um, there was a kid, whenever I was at uh, worked at the high school, um, there was one of the students there. And he would just, in his trunk, he had like eight pairs of shoes, all rando shoes. And That's he'd be great. like, yo, I'm selling these. He'd wear them like for a week and then sell them or just keep them. And he had a guy he'd buy them from or a place he'd buy them. And then he'd go and resell them to people. They're not making any money off me because I can't, I can't wear somebody else's shoes. See? They're still warm. I don't even, I, you could literally <laughs> pull it off, been playing a game of ball, like, let me put that on my foot, boy. <laughs> hey, you want to put your soup in there? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, vegetable beef Terrible. soup, I'll drink that out of a Jordan pair of Jordan 1s any day. Campbell's Chunky Beef and Vegetable. How many pairs of shoes? Okay, let's do a little quick rapid fire question. Oh, we didn't finish the other yeah, two apps. Okay, okay sorry, 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 sorry. What's the second one? Uh, second one, I, you, use, you use StockX, so mm-hmm. you talk about it. StockX. Well, StockX is basically where they're reselling. Yeah. Uh, they, they'll put a sticker on it that mm-hmm. says that it is certified. It is a green sticker that yep. goes on the uh, the soil of the shoe that's how you know that it's verified yep that it's real you're not getting a fake pair of fear of god right the minute you take that sticker off doesn't matter if you need a repair doesn't matter if something goes wrong with it you want to send it back it is now not a verified how do you know that neil because a friend of mine uh god bless him uh bought me a very expensive pair of shoes and which ones fear of gods nike fear they're so incredible but the zipper on wear number one the first time i wore them the zipper broke three teeth off the back and so i uh they cannot go back to stock x they won't take it back because i took the verified sticker off so, so now you got to go to adam sandler the cobbler I and watch yeah. him fix it <laughs> you remember that movie yes yeah it was, it was academy award jennifer anderson's probably in the back there too they're, yeah they're just, always doing give me my netflix money mm-hmm. And so she's made that's so the second money. app, but then the other one that you use. I like Goat. Um, so I like Goat, and it's mainly just interface. It's cleaner, and I like it. And I've already saved a few pairs that I want to kind of keep an eye on. Um, it's like a resale app. You can get new, used, whatever. Uh, fun fact: mm-hmm. Goat is the first app. You know, we talked about Zion. You know, he's sponsored by Jordan Brand. You right. got Puma. Right. Goat is the first app to sponsor an NBA player. What player? Kyle Kuzma. For the Lakers, oh, really? So Goat sends oh, him shoes. Oh, I got you. Like okay. he can wear any kind yes. of shoe. Yeah. That the, he'll wear Kobe's. He'll yep. wear um, Jordans. He'll wear anything that the old school knew. Mm. They'll send them to him, and he he essentially is their guy. And I'm like, that's the future of yeah, this. That is that genius, is. Yep. and I love that. So I mean, I the, I don't know. I just like Goat. I think they're clean. I like the the look, the design of their app, and so I use it more when I'm like in the store and I'm trying to see if I'm getting a good deal or not. I'll bounce on Goat and be like, that's my one. There are four different feeds that I look at just randomly to figure out where things are going, all that kind of stuff. Complex does a whole sticker section. They do a good series on YouTube where they take famous people in and they get to buy and pick out five pairs of shoes. I like that one. Hype Beast does a very good job as well. Uh, Sneaker Freaker is is 100% only shoes. And then um, The Hustle, those four are different feeds if you want to go look at those. I only go to Preachers and Sneakers on Instagram. That's where I get all my ideas. (laughs) It's funny because you can see those Preachers now. They're like, they're wearing like $100 shoes, like some of them. They're Uh very conscientious. Oh, yeah. Of that. And so it's cool. Um, Okay. How do you want to end this? I want to end this with this. How many pairs of shoes do. You own that I also own a version of that shoe. Probably a different size. I think we're half size different. 
I think. So let's name them. You ready? Yeah, you name it. I'll tell you. Okay, so that. I'll say if okay, so we've got there's we have a pair of they're like dark gray LeBron mids. Yes, we I did this, not know you had those. Yeah, I had no clue. I didn't actually. I, I gave. I had those first. That's right. I bought two pairs of shoes, brought them home. Roman and I, my son, wear the same, and I let him pick. He picked the Air Max Two Seventies, and I took those. That's fair. That's a good choice. Good. Um, but I like them because they're a little businessy, but yeah, yeah. they're not. And I don't wear them a ton, but that's probably why I didn't know because I don't wear them a ton. Because hmm. um, they don't pop. I want to pop, bro. Yeah. Um, we both have a pair of the um, Jordan Three Correct. chlorophylls, yes. and I eyed them at the outlets. I was waiting for the price to drop on them, and they never did. And so Neil gets the t- he gets the point on this because he bought them first, and then they dropped. And I asked you, I said, "Hey man, it just dropped down to like, uh-huh. like seventy bucks or something." I was like, "Is it okay if I buy these?" And Heck you're yeah. Like, yeah. Justin Timberlake wore them at his conference. Those. Yeah, he wore them when he did his uh, thing at uh, Little Rock when he did his little dance moves. Yeah. Came to visit. Came to say Yep, hi. that's two. Okay, uh, what else? What are the other ones? Um, we both have Fear of Gods, but you have the real ones. I have the cheap moccasin ones. Well, the gr- <laughs> the green Jordans, uh, the army green with the uh, the orange uh, logo on the front. Um, are they threes or four? Which uh, ones? Uh, the the which ones are those? Army green, dark army green. They. Um, I'm not picturing uh, those in my head. I can't. I, I know that we have the. I know we at least have three. Yeah, we do. One, two, three. Dang, yeah, yeah. this kind of floundered out because of me, yeah. and I could fizzled. It's okay. I promise you I don't have nearly as many. I, I You don't know. I ain't seen your closet, bro. Okay. You have the number one, though. I might have a bunch of mediocre players, but you got LeBron, bro. Mm. You got the best player I out of all of them. I do tend to um, my favorite, and maybe it's personal preference or whatever. I will say the soldiers, the 15s. Mm-hmm. Man, they they fit incredible. So hot right I now. I feel uh, I feel uh, the Jordan fifteen like or jump, LeBron fifteen. Jump really high. Yeah. Run faster. That is uh, that is uh, sneaker culture. Sneaker heads. That's it. <laughs> Way to bring it home. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. Uh, sneaker heads. Sneaker culture. Um, if you want, we'll give you our PO box. You can send us all of your shoes. <laughs> okay, you only have two options. Either you send us free shoes, mm-hmm. or you go into iTunes and you rate us five stars. Wow. And you're like, oh, I don't want to pay for all that. I want to go to the Goat app and then mail them that. That's fine. That's but fine. you have to Mash down go into those iTunes. Five stars. And then tell us in the comments, what's your favorite pair of shoes? Ooh. And if you're like, I like the Nike Monarchs. I'd mow my yard. I've got 18 pairs. <laughs> okay, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle Lance, you got that's great. Good job. Go for it, bro. Uh, Ned Flanders. That's good. Okay, well, you guys stay safe, stay sweet. Neil, um, what's your favorite color? Just in general. Thank you guys for coming to our TED Talk. Bye.